Hey everyone, uh, you can now import Ankydex um, and keep all the scheduling information. So let's say I want to import this deck, just select the deck that I want. You can include all the scheduling information. Um, so I'm actually going to use this deck. So it's exporting here. Now I can go to Traverse and import it here. Upload. Select it here. Uh, so that deck is quite big. Um, it's like 400 megabytes, I think. So that's also around uh, the limit. So, so keep in mind um, that your decks should uh, need to fit into your device memory in order to upload them. So uh, decks larger than like a gigabyte are probably gonna fail to upload. So you can split them up in Anki into uh, several sub decks and then just uh, do the sub decks one by one, upload them. Um, so let's let's upload this. Then once it's uploaded, I'll continue. So once your deck is successfully uploaded, um, it is it actually is saved, so you can come back here anytime. Um, as you can see, um, all of my the ones that I've, I've already reviewed here still have the same. Um, schedule as they had in Anki. Um, so I just reviewed a couple of them. There are of course still a lot of new cards as well, which are the blue ones. And now I can select uh, the ones that I want. I can, um, it might be useful to select my tag here. So for example, only select these ones. Um, so maybe I want to select all of the ones that are for this particular a group and now I can add them to, to traverse so let's create a new traverse for this deck um, I think that kind of sounds fine so they are now moved um, I can also view them if I want to So basically it's, it's created a new traverse here and it's moved this last card that I selected all into uh, to this one here. Um, so now I can basically organize it however I want. So let's say the next group that I want to move is this one. Um, then I can move that into the same deck. Uh, then maybe this one. This one. This one. This one. Okay, so now we've got quite a few. So now let's see what this will get us. So basically you have all of those cards here, but now we can start organizing them and especially with something very visual like uh, like the skeleton. Um, I'm not a medical student, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure what each of those things um, mean. But let's say this seems to be like the spinal cord. So maybe I would just remove this, call it something like that. Deep back plus spinal cord. Um, this is actually all spinal cord. But let's say um, it actually looks something like this. I, I could basically visualize how each of those uh, things connect here, right? So if, if, this, if this was like the spinal cord and this is maybe like the, the neck, you know, and then this is, a, this is the head, um, I could basically visualize how all of those hang together and then I have all of my flashcards related to a certain topic in the exact same place uh, where, they, where they should be visually. Um, and I can see I can see in a bigger picture how it relates. So rather than having this big collection, I can actually uh, organize everything as you can with any traverse. So um, this should be much a much better way of importing your Anki decks into traverse. You keep your your scheduling information. Um, you can 
organize a selector deck by either by sub decks or by tags and then move it into uh, whatever traverse is, is relevant. So I hope that's helpful.